Hi everyone, this is Cyber here. I'm here today to bring you a new video. This video is about Amazon's Luna. I just did another streaming service. Uh, I was invited to try out the beta or alpha for it. And um, at the moment, right now, uh, if you want to try it out, you got to be invited. And um, it's $5.99 a month. Um, there is a 7 day trial. You can try it out. Uh, these are the games you get with it. Uh, but if you go there to home, if you have U Ubisoft Plus, I think it's called, yeah, U Ubisoft Plus, uh, you can actually play them through this too. So if you don't have a great computer and you still want to play some PC games, then you can. Um, but at the moment, these are the games you get to play. Uh, I just pretty much want to test this out, see what it plays like, see how it is. Um, so yeah, these are the games they have. Let's start out with the most graphical enhanced game i think in this collection they have here uh that's the control but at the moment you can only do i think it is you can't do 4k um it uses a lot of data uh but we're gonna do uh standard i have on 7.1 so without further ado let's get into metro and see what it plays like um so play now all right I have it on Windows mode. Connected to the server, and here we go. I did not change my sound. Yeah, there we go. Now I gotta change my audio on the recorder. Give me one second. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if you can skip the intro. about to say let's see what graphics can you change it up to we want motion blur off can we turn it off uh, just keep it normal now I guess So we pretty much got the PC port of it. Yes. Well, this is not the PC port. There's no graphics settings or anything like that. So, but we'll see how it plays, how the delay is. Um, I still remember life before the war. It's kind of pixelated there. I remember that we used to be different. Right. Used to live up there. I just want to get surface. gameplay and see how it is. Okay, there we go. A little bit of pixelation. I had to the pause. There's no delay to the pause, though. 
overall graphics wise it doesn't look that great I don't know if it's just my um, internet can't keep up with it should be able to keep up with it because I have really good internet actually but just let's try to pixelate it that doesn't look horrible though but some stuff looks it doesn't look that great uh, it's probably council. It's probably the council version. That's probably why I played the PC version. So this doesn't look that great to me. A lot of stuff looks like um, not rendered fully or unrendered. No delay. If there is, it's a little bit. That's a little bit of the delay. Just a little bit. It could look better, I will say. more ammo Oh shit! Yeah, there's a little bit delay to the turning.
Oh shit! Well, there was a little bit of glitchy on the sound. Alright. I'll try to control. See what that's like. Hopefully it's not as laggy. We'll see. Just had to get out of it. Okay. The loader was kind of laggy there. I can tell automatically what like what it is or what. Options. Yeah, we'll mute copyright music just for that. So I don't know what version they have here. I guess this may be probably like the stadia version. Like you get mouse and keyboard, but you also get controller, but you get no graphics settings. It's really weird. So it's not like the PC version, but it's also not the console version. I don't know. That looks pretty fast. Fair warning. Hello? Anyone here? Rapid was not too bad. Need to go in here, okay? I never played this game. I just know I don't know. I, I just wasn't feeling it. Rapid wise, actually, as I'm playing, it doesn't like if I stop motion, it looks fine. But if I'm running, it does not look that great. Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. I'm not getting still we actually do it and stuff. Hello? Hey, excuse me. <coughs> I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. This looks like the, on the lowest PC settings. It runs decent. years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? 
Patrol. Woo. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Now we Shit. get the gun. You want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at this I, place. I just want to shoot. Where am I? No delay, really? I will say. No! I did not want to fall there. A little bit of delay there. I went to walk in. I heard how it's like, oh, there's no delay. And... <coughs> Whoops. The same. Up the gun. Okay. A little bit. Things have been outside. You can't let this happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You guys see that? The hotline. Secure line of communication. Not too bad. It's not horrible. It's not unplayable. It's just I would not recommend playing it because the graphics look horrible. But Me earlier. The 
kiss, burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Oh, I died. <laughs> All right. Uh, chef. Game. Ooh, that's it. Yes, I would. That's the game. Okay. Let me back for now. And what another go we'll play one more. Um, one game. Uh, let's see. What else should I play here? Something that's not like really graphical, just to see how the. Um, Uh, the, the delay and all that kind of stuff is. Uh, not Sarge. Uh, let's go. Let's see how this runs. Network issues, it says. I don't know why I would have network issues. I'm wired. Whoa, that was loud. See how it plays. Um, turn the music out because that was loud. It was loud as heck. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era. How do they get inside? Even graphics on this are pixelated at times. The light's not so bad in this game. Okay. This device responds to Not look at it all.
Oh boy, that's a boss. Not fighting that yet. Oh, there we go. I leveled up. Oh, beat him. He wasn't that hard. Actually, that plays pretty well. So if you don't play games like this, they're not so graphically intense. It actually works pretty well. Um, if it, if if it works for the phone, I would say yeah, definitely play this. Um, I'm playing on PC, so yeah, it might play actually okay. Um, yep. So yeah, I would uh. Definitely recommend if you don't play some games that are just like not graphically intense like Castlevania, Contra, um, Sonic would be okay. Um, yeah, I say they would run fun for that. But games like, I don't know, Surge, uh, definitely Metro, Grind, anything that's graphically intense, I would not recommend this uh, for. Um, unless you just don't have like a. Uh, a, like you have a laptop or a phone or something that you just kind of just want to play PC games um, every so often. Uh, I would actually say probably don't even go with this. If you are choice-based games, like you only want to play certain types of games, buy them and then get uh, GeForce Now and you can play it that way for an hour for free. You don't have to pay anything. That could change, but GeForce Now is very good. You can play for an hour, then you hop off, hop back on, you can play it, you can play with your own account, you get achievements, all that kind of stuff. This, you have to pay $5.99 a month, and you're stuck with what is here right now. Now, more games could be added and that kind of stuff, or you could get um, this and Ubisoft Plus, and, but that costs you more money. So, I don't know. It's up to you. I say there's probably other op better options out there, especially GeForce Now. Even if you pay for that, I think it's like $15 a month. And you're first in line, you get the best connection, you get 4K, and you play the games you own. Um, yeah, that's all I can say for it. It's not horrible, it's just, for me, it's not worth it. I have a PS4, I can play Tansylvania, I can play Bloodstain, and I play that, and I'm good. You can play these on PS4, even. PS3. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't think it's worth it for me, personally. Um, 
I have a gaming PC, I can play it stuff, but I guess for some people it might actually be okay. Um, there's not a lot of games that interest me. That's my point of view of games I would play. But if you like side stroller games and stuff, like I like Handsome, I like Contra, um, I like Bloodstain. Uh, I played the Plague Tale a little bit, not too bad, um, but I played Matchroo course but i just don't think it can handle these intense games it's kind of like stadia for me i never tried stadia i just didn't want to put the money out for it to do the testing but i've seen lots of videos on it i heard it's a little better now but geforce now is probably the best service i've seen uh especially if you have good internet i graphics were fine the only thing i ever ran into is if you want to play multiplayer games that's where you start really having issues with uh geforce now could it be better? I don't know. I haven't played in a little while, uh, just because I have a PC game and I have a system. Uh, but yeah, it's not horrible. It's, the service is not horrible. It's not super expensive. Six bucks. And you get a handful of games. It could be more when it, it comes out. Uh, it is a beta. So if you guys want to try it, go ahead and sign up for the seven days trial and try it out yourself. Um, that's all I got to say about it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my review, my gameplay of it. Um, I probably edited it down at some parts just so you can get right into the experience. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you like and comment down below. Are you going to try this out? Are you excited for out Loomis? Um, yeah. I'll see everyone in the next video. Attention viewer, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe.